Right, hello there, my name is Love Spuds. Welcome back to F1 2011 in Career Mode Season 2. And we are at Shanghai, the Chinese Grand Prix, Round 3. Drivers Championship position, we are leading. Constructors, we are second. Not doing too bad at all, if I don't say so myself. Reputation takes another upward turn. So here we are, Season 2, Race 3. So let's have a look at old laptop. The race information for Shanghai is they are expecting to achieve a sixth place in qualifying and in the race finish no lower than fourth. Uh, in practice we have light cloud, qualifying is clear and the race is light rain. So hopefully we'll have a good race result after what happened in Malaysia. Hopefully. But anyway, let's dive straight into practice. Uh, China's not a track I enjoy that much, unfortunately. So uh, it's not going to be the I'm not going to be the fastest round here either. But I am hoping to be a lot better than I was last year. <laughs> Things like that, yeah. You don't really want to see that, no. But anyway, the start of my best practice lap here, going into turn one, the long right hander where you are uh, quite deceived on where the apex is for the corner but it is around there it's turn 2 and 3 4 coming out there not too bad coming out of there I have practiced this a little bit I'm the fastest in that sector so far 1 thousandth of a second up on Vettel's times at the moment it's these corners I lose a lot of time on and the back straight. This corner I've I've messed around with a few setups. Uh, I can't quite find one that gets me any better than this, so I don't know if that's down to my driving on the setup, but uh hey, it doesn't quite work out for me. As you can see I'm six tenths down. Not taking a bad line through there, but I do lose a lot of time going around some of these corners uh, and on this back straight as well this car doesn't seem to have this, the straight line speed I need because of the setup as well so yeah need to find a sort of balance there next year maybe around 14 that was a hot tight hairpin that was 15 as well there 16 is the final corner which is going around it can be a bit tricky at times especially when you're in the race conditions but there Times a well down in sector three, mainly because of the straight, and I'm going straight off there. <laughs> and uh, that's what I did at the end of the lap. I lost concentration or something. That's why I kept that in. But anyway, 13th in practice. It's, it's okay. It's not. It's not perfect. And unfortunately, Barrichello's beating me for the first time this season. But it's only practice, so it doesn't really count too much. Practice is really only for research and development and to get to know the track better. But anyway, let's move on to qualifying when it pops up. There it is. So our objective is to finish 6th or above. Should be a bit of a... Hmm, don't know what's going to happen, really. Considering I finished 13th in practice. So we take these corners. Trying to find the, the best line for this one. That's as good as I could probably get it. But I am still going a bit slow. Especially around that corner as well. A lot. I've noticed a lot of the other cars are faster in that bit. So you guys, we're already half a second down on Petrov's time so it doesn't exactly fill me with confidence this is going to be a, um, challenging for the top six still we're keeping it on the track at least which is 
one thing, I guess. Not very smooth through that corner at all. Lost a bit of time there. The idea of going around corners is one smooth movement rather than having to correct yourself. That usually tends to get the best times. And taking it at the widest angle possible. Uh, uh, nice car getting out of the way there, which is good. Well done, Algaswari. Now the tracks there are a bit dim, getting in my way. That was quite a little bit wide as well. So we hemorrhage time on a lot of corners, but at least we've taken that one all right. I haven't gone off. So what's our final time? 1.33. Currently in second, but unfortunately, it's actually only good enough for 12. So, uh, yeah. But this time we've beaten Barrichello. So basically, me and Barrichello have swapped positions, which uh, is good in the teammate challenge, but uh, bad considering I needed to finish sixth. A whole uh, sixth places down on where I should have been. And a nice failed objective. Don't we just love those? But don't I have a surprise for you in the next few videos? We have to wait and see for that. Let's get down to it. Race day. The clouds are gathering above. It says it's going to be light rain. It's not raining at the moment, but it may very well do in the middle or at the end of the race, which is always interesting. So we need to finish four for above. Let's get out there on the grid. All set. Starting P12. Got a lot of work to do, especially on the start. What my what was that? bashed into the pit wall. So on pole we have Hamilton, I'm in 12th and a Barrichello is in 13th. Here we go, the lights come on, 3, 4, 5 and we're off. Quite a good start, overtaking Massa, looking at Heidfeld now. Coming on the inside of the corner, trying to make sure we don't hit anyone. Ooh, on the inside of Kobayashi, no contact at least. No contact to Alonso, Button and Schumacher as we get past all of them. Then on the inside of Rosberg and Hamilton and Vettel. Let's see if we can beat Vettel coming out of here. Yes we can, we're up to second. Couldn't have asked for a better start really, apart from being in first. Of course, oh, tapping Weber. I wasn't expecting him to slow down that much. But giving him a little bit of room there, I don't want to go into the back of him again. Backing off a little bit. Because these corners I'm not too confident on. But yeah, good start. All in all. As soon as we go, I'm going to keep it behind Weber for now, it looks like. Oh, nearly losing it slightly. Back end sliding out just a bit. I don't know quite why that happened. Um, I mean, after all, I do have traction control on. Things like that shouldn't happen too often. But imagine if I had traction control off, I would have spun <laughs> quite badly. I mean, if I can get it to slip out and with traction control, God knows what would have happened if I had it off. I think Vettel's closing on me. Yep, he's trying to go up the inside. He's not close enough to make a move. But I go wide out of the hairpin. Is he going to come past? No, he's not. Not this time. So as we come around to the final corner, turn 16. I go off again here. I'll do that probably a few more times. As we finish the first lap, we are in second. Weber's first. Where gap is 1.3 seconds to Weber. Vettel is one tenth behind me. Schumacher is half a second behind him. Uh, messing up this corner a little bit. Going really slow around here. That, that's where they gain a lot of the time. Green flag, someone must have went off on that first corner. Uh, still a yellow section which turned purple now because of my time. 
Maybe it's a pro problem with Vettel because he's disappeared. And Schumacher's has taken his place. Uh, don't quite know what's happened there. I didn't see much on the replay file after this. So, um, I guess he's still in fourth. I'm not sure. But either way, it's now Schumacher behind us. He's two tenths behind. And he's looking to get past because I'm messing up completely. And there he is on my right there. Bit of a tap there. I try not to hit them, but sometimes it's a bit um, difficult. But Schumacher's lost a place to Hamilton now. He's slipped past him, and Hamilton's trying to get past me. Is he going to do it? No, he's backed off. There's three cars behind me trying to get past at the minute. I got off slightly wide again. Weber's gone up into the distance because I can hardly see him anymore. There he is, a little speck in the distance. But Hamilton is right up behind me. He's going to try and make a move. He's one tenth behind me. Button is in fourth. So Schumacher and Vettel both lost out. I don't know whether that's due to me hitting them or them hitting me. I don't really know. I didn't hear anything major. But either way, they've lost out to the McLarens. Um, let's have a look see what we've got here. My pace is slightly up. Weber's increased the gap to five seconds, as I would have expected, considering I I don't do really that well on this track, as uh, lap times will show. Quite amazing that I keep most of these people behind me. Oh, I got off wide and opened the door to Hamilton. Closed the door to Button. That was a bit aggressive, I know. It wasn't too bad. He's still running up behind me. Hamilton. Running into the back of him. After such a clean race in Malaysia, I don't know why I'm hitting everyone now. But still. Everyone's got away with no damage, which is what I like to see. I don't mind a good crash now and then, but it takes a lot more skill to actually get past someone cleanly. As we break hard for the hairpin. We're right up behind Hamilton. I think he'll probably run off. Schumacher's taken the place back from Button. He's up to fourth. So now I'm down to third. Lap four. Weber sets the fastest lap. 133.162. My best lap is 135.8. 1 1. And my engineer just told me that they're expecting rain in about 10 minutes which I believe is close to the end of the race so it should be interesting see if things get a bit slippery out on track it's it probably won't be enough to affect uh, the cars to make them go into the pits for intermediates I doubt that will happen so you have to oh hang on knee sliding out there and you're just gonna have to hold on to it if it gets a bit wet try and uh, make do with the slicks and Schumacher's passed. See I'm hemorrhaging positions. Hoping to go on the outside. Oh not gonna happen. He's gonna get back. And now Button's having a look. I really don't want to go down to fifth. I want to at least meet my objective in this race. But my messy driving on that last bit there didn't help at all. Got DRS on Schumacher. It's not going to help too much unless I can dive up on the inside. Possibly. No, I'm a bit too far away for that. Slap, slapping him in the back. I swear, if they just, you know, let off the brake just a bit more, I could uh, have slid up behind him quite nicely rather than hitting him. But as you see, I've decided to stay out another lap. See if that helps me or hinders me. Because my tyres are degrading a little bit now. But they're not in too bad a condition. So I thought I could go another lap. Maybe make back the places I lost. I'm not going to get back into first because Weber has already decided to stay out. Or he had his pit stop and came out. Don't really know because the, lap, the gap is 11 seconds anyway. So is... Uh, I guess he just stayed out. I'm not sure. I wasn't really watching his dot on the map. Let's 
see what happens uh, on this lap. I need to try and not make too many mistakes. We've got Button up behind me. I guess he'll probably come into the pits with me. Remember to pit this lap. My engineer is uh, really wanting me to come in now. <laughs> Just remember to pit in. Just remember. Yeah, yeah. Using up the rest of my curves just to stay ahead. We're okay, I think. He's not going to catch up to me. Oh, yes, he is. He's right behind me, but he's, he's too far down the straight to make any sort of real move on me. He tried to have a look at the inside. Not really going to happen. But I'm going to dive into the pits now. I think. Yes, I actually do. Try not to go into that gravel trap there, because that would cost you a hell of a lot of time. I think Hamilton done it a few years ago, or last year, I don't really know. But I know he went in there. Changing it down to standard. I didn't realise I had it on fuel mixture rich all the time, but uh, there you go. Exit, exit now. Letting one of the Saubers in, I think that was. I'm not sure. Either way, we're out in front of Button. We've just got out in front of Hamilton. Oh, no he's, he's having a look problem. on the inside. He looks like he's going to try and get past, but no, no. I heard a little bit of tap. I may have gotten his way. I'm not entirely sure. But here we are, back up into second. I've got to try not to make any mistakes from here on in. The gap to Weber is now 14 seconds, so he's he's long gone. I very much doubt I'll see him again. Hamilton is waiting for me to make a mistake, which seems quite inevitable, especially if the rain is going to come soon. And the way I'm driving, it's just it's just too slow. I'm just too slow. I'm over two seconds slower than Weber at the minute, so there's no way I'm up there with the uh, the front runners, so to speak. It's just amazing. I caught got this place at the start and uh, sort of hang on to it. I can see spatters of rain coming along. Looks like rain has started already. Just trying to defend my place to Hamilton. But he gets past quite easily, but I'm going to take the inside. Locking up the front right tyre there. We've got the place back. We're holding on. Holding on just right now. As we finish lap 6, on to lap 7. Light rain in 5 minutes. I saw specks of rain not so long ago. Yeah, I can, see, I can still see a little bit now and then. So the rain is starting to fall. We have about 3, 3.5-ish three laps left. 3 and 3 quarters, whatever. Webb is now up to 16.9 seconds. Yeah, so all I need to do is try and hold on to second place. Ooh, back in, sliding out a little bit there. I don't know if that's down to the rain or me. Things will start to get a little bit wet quite soon. Because I can see the rain now. It is definitely falling. I have to just try and concentrate just to keep it on the track. And back straight here, we use up the rest of our curves just to try and stay ahead. But they've got their DRS open as well and probably use their own curves, so they've got quite an advantage. He had a quick look, Hamilton, but he didn't uh, make the move. Got three cars behind me still trying to nick my position as soon as I make a mistake. Trying to keep it on the track. Things are going to start to get a bit more slippery now. It's Hamilton and Button right up behind me. I assume Schumacher is still in the mix. Could be someone else by now. Alright, so... We're actually two days away, exactly, to almost the minute, until Spain's first uh, practice session on Friday. 
this is when I'm recording it. Just got in from work and thought I'd do um, a video. It's about time you guys had another one. So looking forward to this weekend. After last week's testing, there's no coverage of it whatsoever. Oh, bloody hell, Hamilton, what are you doing? I suppose that was my fault, really. Came far, turned in on him. But Hamilton's lost part of his wing, so he's gone back behind Button. Oh, here we go. Button's making a move on the inside. But I just outbreak him, calmly take it around the hairpin, and I regain second. Holding it on for now, finishing lap 8, on to lap 9. The rain is definitely starting to fall. Gap to Weber is 20 seconds now, that's, uh, that's dismal. But yeah, there's absolutely no coverage apart from a few photos and uh, some text and Twitter feeds coming out of Mugello. Test, uh, testing this week, or last week. So I'm really looking forward to getting some more racing action this weekend. I can't remember if it's on Sky Sports or BBC, but either way, at least I can see it. I'm really hoping Button can get back to form. But the way things are, the field is so tight at the minute. Four different winners from four different races. Will we see a fifth? You know, Kimi could still win a race this uh, this year. And the Lotus is quick, seems to be quick in hot weather. And Spain is usually quite warm. So you have to watch out for those guys. But you never know, we'll see what happens. Looking forward to it. But back to this race, I can hear buttons closing on me again. It's always not a nice feeling when you've got <laughs> McLarens closing in on you. Oh, and I made a mistake there. Braked way too late. Button and Hamilton have got past me pretty easily, and that was Schumacher behind them as well. All oh, slipping out again on the back end. It's really getting quite damp, and my, I don't think it's my tyres, I think it's just the wet weather. Unfortunately, they're going to stream off now, I think, seeing it's, especially as I've only got two laps to overtake them again. If I could have just hold, just hold on to them, to the back straight, I might have a chance, but as you can see, they've already gone off, so uh, I, now I can't afford to lose any more positions, so I've got to really concentrate and hold it. Still going off wide. Rosberg is now having a look. Schumacher is behind him now in sixth. I just want to keep this car on the track now because I can feel it. It wants to slip out now. It really does. So I've noticed I can't catch up to them so I've switched the fuel mixture down to standard. Just trying to concentrate on defending this position. As I am too far behind to get the DRS on Hamilton. Not within a second so uh, that battle is lost. Using up my curves now to just defend against Rosberg, which seems to have worked. He's uh, backed off a little bit, or I've sped off a little bit, either one. Trying my best not to go wide on this one, but Schumacher and Rosberg are having their own little tussles there. Schumacher's retaken fifth. I got off wide. Finish my penultimate lap. So, uh, just need to hold on to the end of the race now, get my fourth place. Not a good start because I'm going off wide there. Schumacher was looking at the inside but decided against it. You see, my best lap is a 135.3, and I think the best lap of the race was like a 132, so I'm about three seconds off the pace so I was never going to be in contention for winning this race that's for sure 
I'll have to keep practicing this circuit. There's, I just can't get to, quite to grips with it. You can see I'm holding on there, trying to not slip out. Concentrating more on holding a position, locking up there, I think. It sounded like it, I wasn't looking at the tyres. The gap to Hamilton is now 5.9 seconds, and Mark Webber has won the race. It seems to be a title fight between me and Webber this year. Uh, Schumacher did have a quick look there, but he just fell back behind me. Just trying to make sure I don't mess up too much around there. Coming out to the final corner. Make sure I don't mess it up. They're all going wide, but uh, yeah, we're holding on to it. Just Schumacher tried, but he didn't quite get there. But here we are, fourth. The Ferraris are behind him. What happened to Rosberg? Let's we'll have, have a look at the results. So he gained eight positions. Congratulations, that's a well deserved fourth. Fourth point, uh, fourth with 12 points, not too bad. So we have Weber, Button, and Hamilton on the podium. I don't know what happened to Rosberg, I didn't look. Uh, drivers, Weber has gone back up into first. I am down to second. Barrichello is down 15th. Oh, Rubens, what are you doing? Yes, I'm 10 points behind Weber. Should be an interesting fight this year. Williams are down to third in the constructors. McLaren moved up because of their podium finishes there. But still, we met our objectives. That's the the main thing. Would love to have won, but considering I didn't do well on that circuit, that's a good result. Nice little chunk of XP there. Congratulate the team, of course. So yeah, next stop is Turkey, Istanbul, for round four in season two. I shall see you next time.